Okay, so this is me. This is my friend Sam, and here we are cruising around the streets of Cambridge on electric scooters at 2.30 in the morning dressed in tuxedos. But what led up to this moment? Let's rewind. So this weekend, doing something a little bit different. Come with a friend down to Cambridge, staying in an Airbnb. We've got a night out tonight, a dinner night with a group of lads that I've never met before. Part of a little group community via Facebook. However, it's a really good group of lads. I'll tell you more about it soon. But while I'm here, I'll just show you around the Airbnb, introduce you to my friend. Okay, so I knew about this night about six, seven months ago. Uh, didn't want to bother with a hotel, so Kyle booked us this Airbnb. Found this nice little gem for us. Uh, it's so nice, so yeah. We've come down this little little driveway. It's at the back of someone's garden. We'll go in and show you now. All right, so I'll introduce you to Sam. This is Sam. Good on Sam. Do you want to give us a tour of the Airbnb, lad? Let's go and have a look then. So we've got there, we've got a nice outside area or patio area where you can uh, have a little barbecue and that. There's a barbecue on the other side there. Nice fire pit. Little, little table and chairs and that. A little sitting area. Lovely stuff. What right inside, lad? What we got? Onto the inside. So it grips you straight away. Right? It's, it's quite spacious for such a small place. You know what I mean? And then. Of a little kitchenette area that's attached. Everything that you need if you're only stopping here for a couple of days. Bang on. Big freezer, big American fridge, lovely stuff. Bathroom here. Again, everything you need for stopping a couple of nights with a nice touch, nice pipes. Nice, nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> Moving over here, then we've got a nice double bed. It looks like a fold out, yeah, fold out couch, double bed, but. Hitting on it. How is it, lad? Bang on. Out of 10 for comfort. I, it's a good 9.5. I'm going to enjoy keeping on there tonight. You'll okay. enjoy my snoring as well, lad. <laughs> nice couch. Again. I might even keep on here. It's that comfort. It's bang on. <laughs> Everything that you need. A bit leather though. Stick to your skin. Big TV. Sky. Wi-Fi. Everything. So this event that we're going to tonight requires us to take a COVID test or show your COVID passport, which I've already got. We're just going to do a test anyway. Hopefully, negative. Or else it's a wasted journey. So with the test coming back negative, we proceeded to get ready, leave the Airbnb, and start making our way down to Cambridge University. Yeah. I went down to Heathrow Airport. Pick my mate up. I was there for like 45 minutes. I think it cost me like 13 pound to park for 45 minutes. I'm not joking, lad. I'm not. Oh, joking. I, I'm, I would have refused to pay for what to park your car. 13 to, park your pound? Car to, to wait for somebody. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> not this man. Not this man. I would not be paying that. Oh, that? I'm sorry, but that is an absolute. That's that's disgusting. I then found myself somewhere to park which didn't cost me an arm and a leg. I then navigated my way through the pathways of the beautiful city of Cambridge, which parts of it look like somewhere in Venice, and in other parts remind me of a scene from the Harry Potter movie. Eventually, we arrived at the university and met up with the other bunch of lads that was coming that night. We were then greeted and guided through the walkways and courtyards of Cambridge University by somebody playing the bagpipes. Oh, 
in that window. Zoom up on zoom in on his face. <laughs> <laughs> we then went on to have arrival drinks, followed by the opening address from Gav. So Gav is the chap that founded and created this group called Lads Advice. So this group is an online Facebook group and it's a place to come together, share laughs and support one another. It's also a place to lift each other up and a place to be safe without judgement from anyone else that is on there. So from what I've witnessed on this group called Lads Advice, it's just lads encouraging each other on, giving each other advice, asking for advice without feeling embarrassed to do so. I've seen advice asked for and given out, which ranges from somebody asking what they should have for dinner that night. I've seen people that have become homeless and the group has come together and found that person a place to stay temporarily and then going on to more permanently. And I've also seen that group of lads come together and prevent someone from taking their own life. The group have already raised an outstanding amount of money for a charity called Papros which is a charity that prevents suicide amongst youngsters. The target is £20,000 and they're already closing in on that. Just a quick explanation about what Lads Advice is. But if you are male and you've been having any problems, either in the past, present, or you may encounter problems in the future, then I suggest you go onto that group, get amongst a bunch of lads in there. Even if you haven't got any problems, just get along there. It's all a good laugh. It's a great bunch of lads. Plus you get to go to nice events like this. Anyway, that's a short explanation of what it's about and it's back onto the video. Okay, so from the opening address, we went onto the dining hall where we received a quick lesson in Latin. Before going on to eat some great food from a great menu and then coming to the end of the night, which led me on to this moment. Cruising around the streets of Cambridge on e-scooters. Getting yeah, in the streets. That's the end of the night. Didn't quite go as planned, didn't get to show you as much as I wanted to. However, we had a good night, had a little bit of fun. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, tick the subscribe button if you want to. I'll catch you again next video. Catch you later.